and you're sure you can't curse him. Wrong witch. Curses and I don't mix. I touch my nose to make sure it's still on my face. But you know someone who could. Heck, I know someone who could. I'd even ask your sister to hex him, but I don't want to give her any ideas. I sigh in frustration. I need to find a new location. Troy chuckles because it's not like I haven't been trying. Our once sleepy coastal town has transformed into a bustling tourist destination. The soaring costs of property insurance has chased many locals away, taking the affordable prices with them. Developers are quick to swoop in, snapping up land and jacking up the rent. If this trend continues, there won't be any local shops left, just tourist traps selling seashells and sunscreen. Our mom's offer isn't looking too bad now, is it? Troy laughs. No, absolutely not. I'd go crazy running a business out of their shop. Plus, book a wedding and get a free tarot reading is not the vibe I was going for. Our mothers co-own the town's metaphysical store, and they have been blessed with a landlord who valued them as much as the community did, providing them with a lifetime lease. It's an arrangement as rare as a blue moon, and they know it. Think about it. Your mom could peer into her crystal ball and tell couples their marriages were doomed before they even tied the knot. Right, because nothing says, congratulations on your engagement like forecasting an impending divorce. I reply with heavy sarcasm. That would be terrible for business. I don't know. I bet people would pay big money for that. And for the record, I can do the same. People's emotions don't lie. Ah, but the problem is you would never tell the bride that the groom was just after her money, whereas your mom would say it to her face and offer to hex the man in the process. Exactly. I shake my head. I don't even want to think about it. I'll find the perfect place. I just have to be patient. <laughs>